Good morning everyone and welcome to the Ichthus Advent Calendar, Day 13. If you've been following these reflections on a regular basis, you'll have no doubt heard about how Mary encounters the angel Gabriel and what an amazing incident that is, where the angel announces to her that she's going to give birth to a son, that is to be no ordinary son, that the Holy Spirit's going to come upon her, that the power of the Most High is going to overshadow her, that the son who is to be born will be holy, and she's to call his name Jesus, which means Saviour. Well, fancy processing that kind of information. Astonishing. I wonder what feelings went through her mind and her heart. And I wonder how she thought of it all. On the one hand, maybe she was overjoyed and filled with excitement and wondering, could this really be true? Did I really experience this angel and what he said? Did I hear it correct? On the other hand, she might have been thinking, yes, but when it comes, how will we explain that? Will people be able to understand it? And naturally enough, she probably wanted to talk about it with someone, but who could she talk to? She thought of her cousin Elizabeth, who was considerably older than her, but she was a godly woman and she was married to a priest. Perhaps she would understand. So that's where we take up our story today. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment to those things which were told her from the Lord. And so the moment that Mary steps over the threshold and begins her greeting, the unborn John the Baptist leaps in the womb for joy. And Gabriel had said, hadn't he, that this baby, this John the Baptist, would be filled with the Holy Spirit from even in the womb. What a wonderful thing it is to have the Holy Spirit. What a wonderful thing it is, even before you're born, to be able to recognize the presence of God to have an awareness of God, to be able to respond it. And since Jesus died and rose again and poured out his Holy Spirit, we too can experience the Holy Spirit within us. We too can be aware of God's presence. We too can respond to him. We too can love him. And the other thing that happened immediately that Mary opened her mouth is that Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, we read. And so faith awakens within her. And under the influence of the Holy Spirit, she starts to prophesy and say, Blessed are you, Mary, among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, the baby that you're going to bear. And then she says, and how is it that the mother of my Lord should come to me? She recognizes through the Holy Spirit that Mary is carrying the Messiah. And then she encourages Mary and says, blessed is she who believed, for there is a fulfill, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. And you know, God speaks to us through his Holy Spirit. He speaks through the word of God and he can speak into our spirits. And he, when he does speak, wants us to say, Lord, let your will be done in my life. Let it be according to your word in me. So as we prepare our hearts and open our hearts this Christmas time to receive him afresh, let's cry out to him, Lord, I wanna be full of your Holy Spirit. Refill me so that I may be able to be aware of your presence so that I know what you're doing 
in this world and so that I can respond to you, so that I can love you, so that I can serve you. And let's be people that say, Lord, let it be to me according to what you say about my life. Shall we pray? Lord, we do thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you that we can be filled with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, we can be aware of your presence. Thank you, Lord, that we can respond to you, that we can love you, that we can be filled with your joy. And we pray that we will experience more of the infilling of your Holy Spirit as we open up our hearts to you this Advent season. We pray also, Lord, that your word will go out and that people will hear your wonderful gospel of salvation and that they will understand it. We pray you would pour out your Holy Spirit that people might be affected. And we pray that you would help them to respond to you and say yes to you. And Lord, that as they receive your presence into their hearts, as they receive your life, that they too will be filled with joy. These prayers we ask in your name. Amen.